Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gat, and welcome back to, you know what it is already, Sugar Style. Last time, you know, they had a fight. Sorry, Mount Itsuka had a, a dumb fight. It started from eggs, then it ended up being something completely different. If you want to see that, look at last video. And I'm sorry if that one came out late. Now I'm trying to do it better now. This is going to come out 3 p.m. Okay, without further ado, let us continue with a brand new day. It's past 11 p.m. For some reason, the girl showed no sign of going to sleep soon. Mao leads the gang in watching a movie, which they all fascinated by. You got this, Brian! Give him hell! This actor is totally my type! How many times have you said that, Kaoru? Action movies are rather thrilling! This must be the climax of the movie now. I only just joined them, so I'm completely confused. Hmm... I checked my phone to find that I missed a call from Hair five minutes ago. Might as well call her back. Hey, oh, Hair! Oh, thank goodness you called me back! What's the matter? I can't get Calder to pick to answer! It's so late! I was hoping she would come and pick me up! Come to think of it, I haven't seen Hair since after dinner. Wait, pick her up? Hey, where, where even are you? At a karaoke place in town! Caught up talking with a friend and lost track of time. Uh, you're out on the town this late at night? Hair, as your father, I can't allow this. But wow, karaoke. I guess Hair really warmed up to it after last time. Still, I don't think I would have heard. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard her hanging out with friends this late at night. Girls are weirdly motivated when it comes to spending time with friends. Sorry, Hair. I'll go talk to Kaoru. Kaoru, I want someone to pick her up. Yeah, you do it. Go ahead and take my car. Yes, ma'am. I was planning to go to be the one to go. So, that works. Yo, you still there, Hair? <laughs> yeah, I overhate. Don't worry, buddy. I'll just walk home. Nuh-uh. What time do you think it is? Just wait there. I'm on my way. I'm not stupid enough to let a girl walk down a deserted country road alone at night. Hair seems seems like the one the type to actually do it too, which is even scarier. The last cable car has already come and gone, so it's just too far to walk from the city. Hey Kaoru, where are the keys? On the desk in my room upstairs. Thanksies. I grab them and head out on my way. Descending the mountain road. I rush to the karaoke joint where she waits. When I'm when I'm driving at a, <laughs> eh, when I'm driving around at night like this, I remember when I had to pick up Itsuka and Mao before. Not that I could say it to the girls, but taking the car to pick them up at night? Dooby dooby doo. Well, it makes me feel like maybe I finally achieved normi <laughs> normiehood. Oh, there she is. I spot her standing at the intersection with the karaoke joint. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Hey there, pretty girl. Wanna take a ride with me? <laughs> Give me a break. Sorry, you have to wait so long. Get in. Thanks. Hair climbs in the passenger seat, and I wait for it to get her seatbelt fastened before I tap the gas. There's not much traffic at this time of night, so we get to enjoy the chill ride home. Mm, 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 mm. Where are your friends? They went home. Why, d why are you disappointed? Nope. You were here alone waiting for me, so it's actually very satisfying. <laughs> you sure you're okay with me? Yeah, I'd take anyone at this point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just so we're clear, I'll be delighted with you. Wow. I think I've just said something seriously embarrassing like it was nothing. Mm, thanks. For treating me as a woman, I mean. I mean, I have to be both blind and dumb to treat you as a guy. Maybe, I guess. Anyway, still, thanks. Just like before, they're so, they're so thankful just because I drove over to pick them up. 
damn, this driving thing is addicting. My motivation may be impure, but that doesn't really matter now. If this is how it is, I would love to get my own car after I graduate. Heck, I'd even take take a used one. Yeah, take a used one, man. They're they're really cool. Six thousand for my car. Two thousand eight Centro Nissan Centro, man. So dope. It's really dope, man. Just driving. Well, it's better than walking or taking the bus. So why not? Well, unless you like go to work or school close by. Like if it's like a, let's just say like a five minute bike ride, then it's like there's no point to driving. But either way, I still like driving, man. Let me see. Did I read that one? So hey, everyone's back at the dorm. Everyone back at the dorm is watching a movie right now. They're not going to bed anytime soon, so I was thinking of getting popsicles for everyone from the store. I'm totally up for that. Being alone in the car makes it weirdly hard to think of conversation, so I pick up popsicles. We stop at the store at the foot of the mountain and buy some. Buy everyone some. What the hell? That sounds awful. That's Indonesian fried rice, right? Gross. I bet mine is a hundred times better than yours. Not even close. Spice. Spicy icy. Hot chili sauce flavor. I'd rather have nasi goreng than that. Trust me, spicy popsicles are amazing. Of course, no one's gonna try it. So this fact will be accepted by he <laughs> so this fact will never be a check uh, uh, accepted by the world at large <laughs> <laughs> while I blather on hair puts her nasi gore popsicles in her mouth uh oh! okay now you try no 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 way I saw the look on your face it must taste disgusting What's Neapolitan? I have no idea. Eat it yourself if you like it so much. Oh, you're not fun. Hair stands in front of the car, licking her popsicle, while I'm yelling like a madman besides her. Two guys walk out of the store, glare at us, extreme, clearly extremely jealous. It's not like we're flirting. I'm serious, guys. I check the time to find that it's just before midnight, so... I stop hair in the car and start the engine again. The road home is treacherous and as <laughs> treacherous as usual, so I'm a little nervous. We made it home safely. There's plenty of space in front of the dorm, so I don't have to worry about finding parking a parking spot. Very cool. Let's get inside. It's pretty cold at this time of night. But you know, but you know that since you, you're, since you're waiting outside all the time. Uh, thanks again. I respond before running inside, bubbly as ever. Hey, hey, wait a sec. She's not just excited to make someone eat her popsicle, is she? Peace, peace, hey, now, want to eat popsicle? Yay, thanks. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hair must still be a little hyperactive from all that karaoke. Thus, the emergency pick up hair up <laughs> the emergency pick hair up mission ends in success. I haven't gotten pretty used to driving cow I've gotten pretty used to <laughs> to Cowder's car now. Too, thanks to driving around here so much. Man, I'm tired. It's like two in the morning <laughs> one in the morning. And it's hot, bud. Wait, wait, wait. Routes? Kaname? 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 No, not yet. Come on, man. Kaname. 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 Please, Kaname. Kaname? Kaname. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm so happy right now. All right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wake up 
with a empty stomach. But oddly enough, I don't feel at least <laughs> the least bit groggy. Whoa, it's already 10? No doubt I missed bre breakfast by now. The weather outside is pretty gloomy, so maybe that's why I slept in. When I grab my phone, I end up opening the photo of Kaname. <laughs> opening up the photo Kaname e emailed me again. Hmm. Still cute. It's moments like this which makes me suspect I might really have a thing for her. However, due to some events in my distant past, I'm a little guarded around the thought of romance. Even inviting her on a date seems like an impossible task. It'll be hard to take the next step with, without some sort of signal from her first. But hey, no reason to rest things. I'll just keep moving forward as usual. First though, I'd better wash my face. Mm -hmm. Phew! Nothing to wake you up like cold splash of water in the face. When summer comes, the water goes from pleasantly warm to grossly tempted, I'm sure. <coughs> oh, hey! She stands next to me, wordlessly, opening her bag of toiletries. Good morning! <coughs> she seems annoyed at me today. So, I came to your room to wake you up. Why didn't you wake up? Huh? You did? I seriously don't remember that at all. Also, she literally never once came came to wake me up. Why now? I knocked a number of times. I'm sorry. I must have been out like a light because I don't remember that at all. The door was even locked. I mean, I sleep better at night that way. <laughs> Kaname turns away and starts brushing her, t her, her, her front teeth. Don't be so mad. Because of that, we had to eat breakfast without you. <laughs> that kind of sounds like you wanted me to be there. Uh. He pretends not to have heard me. Detached as a robot as he continues brush to brush. Guess not, huh? Uh. uh she's so pissed. She's, she's just mad because she was supposed to wake me up and I miss, messed that up for her, right? Or maybe. Is it something cuter? Like she was lonely because I wasn't there? Hmm. Kaname, were you lonely without me? <laughs> Just messing around. <laughs> her silent rage continues to simmer. But you know, if I'm reading her right, then maybe I should really ask her out. I never made any progress about being more per <laughs> I'll never make any progress about being more proactive, I guess. So, hey, kind of me. Huh? If you're up for it, why don't we go on a date today? <laughs> oh, cough! Hi! What, what is that? Jeez, was it really that shock of, shocking of a question? You doing okay? Kind of me gives, gives her mouth a quick rinse before dabbing at it politely with a handkerchief. Hmm, I think you say. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but where are you planning to take me? The corner store. That's where he's gonna stay a home day. Again, joking. Good question though. It looks like I might it might rain outside, so doing something calm inside is probably better than being active outside. How about another movie? A movie? Or not? Actually, I like that idea. What should we watch? Since we watched an anime last time, how about we go for something more mainstream? Good idea. Let's do that. She'll make she'll make fun of me if I choose if I stupidly choose another romance movie. Maybe a horror movie? Nah, she might think I'm trying to put the moves on her. I'll see what's showing later. Okay, I'll look through the listings as well. I can't very well put all the responsibility on you. Cool, sounds good to me. Kanme starts brushing again. Her mouth her good mood fully restored. So I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna grab something. See you later. <laughs> Kanami raised waves with a grin. Toothbrush, toothbrush still in her mouth. So cute. Honestly, my heart's gonna go in a mile a minute. But I'm so damn glad I can I came out and asked her. <laughs> Erica's the only one present in the cafeteria. She's lined up three chairs as 
and his strata cr lying, <laughs> lying across them all, all as she watches TV. That's poor manners. Be more womanly, girl. Good morning, Perf. Good morning. Man, Itsuka is such a blessing. She left the plate for me. She wrapped it all up and even left the note with a cute round writing on it. Help yourself to some rice and miso too, Itsuka. You don't have to read it to me. I'd rather not over overeat now or I'll be sleepy during the day. Moderation is going to be key today. Down the hatch. Ah! The hell happened to you, Perf? Hmm? What do you mean? Erica leaps up suddenly very serious. She's backing away slowly, like she ran into a bear in the mountains. Looking at your face, you're grinning like a psycho. Really? It can't be all that bad, can it? Guess I might be kind of excited for the day. It's my butt, isn't it? I'm just that sexy. Keep the nonsense with reasonable boundaries. Then why? Oh, I know you little rascal. Yep, you guessed it. I'm going on a get. I'm going on a date with Kana, man. You're happy because she made eggs on his side of. No, I don't really care about that. I like mine's um. I like mine's um. The things where you flip them. What do you call it? Crossover. Over easy. This isn't basketball. Two side up. That's Mo Mao's hairstyle. Personally, I just call it a double ponytail. Do you enjoy teasing me? Learn your dish, your egg dishes. So anyway, I got some plans later. That's why I'm in a good mood. Oh ho! Ah, uh, I'm so excited that I can't even swallow. So I think to myself as I swallow down my helping of food. <laughs> Whoa, it's really coming down. But it's not so bad that we can't make it work with an umbrella. Oh, there. It's starting rain. It started raining. Yeah, but I mean, it's been raining all morning. Hmm? <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. Got me! Oh! She looks amazing. <laughs> Look at you. Start speechless. Don't try to hide it. Um, I don't really have a way with words, but to put it mildly, you look incredible. Well, if you're gonna to compliment me, there's no need to put it mildly. All right, then. Welcome to the Bone Zone. In the, in the, in the, <laughs> the Bone Zone, really? <laughs> Invitation denied. Go back to put it. Uh, <laughs> go back to putting it mildly. Make up your mind. You're even prettier than usual. Thank you, shall we? Make sure you bring an umbrella. I'm not sharing mine. Uh, okay, we'll do. Her pumps clicking against the floor. Kaname joyfully opens her umbrella and runs ahead. Is it just me or is he just a little bubbly? What are you waiting for? Hurry up! Just wait a second. I'm tying my shoelaces. Jeez, I get, I get a little excited. And then you come and raid on my parade. She really is bubbly. Should she be wearing those pretty clothes out in the rain like this? But hey, if she's having fun. Kind of me. Hmm? Oh, mom. A slender woman steps out of her expensive looking sedan. It's windows fogged in the rain. Kaname is clearly flustered. Her hands clench to her chest fearfully. That's her mother? To be sure, they kind of do have the same aura about them. She reminds me of when I first met Kaname, which she seems kind of hard to approach. What could be happening here? Have you been lying to me? Um, I... no, ma'am. Lying? Sorry, mom, but I'm, I'm in a hurry. Let's go. Uh, okay, you sure? Why is her mom so mad right now? Kaname takes my arm and tries to push through, but unsurprisingly, her mother blocks the way. Wait right here! <gasps> what is the meaning of this? I just went to the address you claim to live at, but they told me there's no such student living there. I then made them ask the school, and they said you live here. <gasps> you live in this dingy hovel? You do, 
Oh, don't you? Diggy, Hava? This is no place for Fuzuyuki! Kaname's mother glares at the Sunshine Dwarm's weather exterior, her face warped with disgust. I mean, sure, it's pretty worn out, but it's a nice place. Um, Kaname, what's going on? Like the spark has gone out of her, Kaname lets go of my arm, her hand falling limply to her side. I'm sorry, can we delay the date to another day? Yes, of course, anytime, just let me know. Really? I should be the one to apologize. It sounds like you're going through some stuff. I'll just head back now. All right, thank you. She's such a strong woman. I've never seen her look so defeated. Who did you? Huh? This time, Kanami's mom turns her glare to me. Do you live in this dormitory as well? Um, yes. Kanami, how do you tend to explain this? What? What? Hold up. An and marry a woman in this diggy hovel? Living under the same roof as a man? <laughs> he sleep in different rooms, so... You dare talk back to me? <laughs> no, ma'am. Kaname's mom is terrifying. Her sudden shouting has... Even has me trembling. What the heck? She's been living here without her parents' knowledge? Please, ma'am, there's no need to be angry. There's really nothing going on between us. Mm -hmm. Guess she's just going to ignore me. In a place of education, of all things, where did you all go? Where did it all go wrong? Mm -hmm. Kaname, the unflappable Kaname, who wins every argument, is just standing there trembling. But seriously, the anger here is just way out of proportion. Get in the car. I'm taking you back to the main family. Uh, no, I don't want to. I'm trying to be Leland with you, since you've always been so sweet and selfless, and I'm and you wanted this so badly. <laughs> Doing that voice though. Hmm. But this was all scheme to live with some man. You should be ashamed. No, as he said, there's nothing. You can stay in this vocational school if you insist, but this living arrangement will not do at all. No, Hushin, get in the car. What? No, let go of me. Kaname is going away? Wait. But I still haven't told her yet. Do as I say. Do you understand the expectations we all have of you? No, you listen to me. Uh -huh. For the first time, Kaname shouts back. Her voice is amplified by the pain of isolation. You don't know anything about me. Yet, you push and force and make demands of me just because I'm a Fuzuyuki. Uh, Kaname rests her arm free, tosses aside her umbrella, and takes a step towards her mother. <laughs> Who cares if the storm is dingy? Can you give me one good reason why a girl born in a well must live in a fancy apartment? Kaname! I've always been so lonely all by myself. Private lessons after private lessons, day after day. I never wanted that life. But you made me! Oh, I endured it! And I endured it all! <laughs> and now I finally made a friend! You have to tear me away from him because he doesn't fit your social standards? Then, I'm through with this! Kaname... So, the reason she doesn't have friends is because of her parents? Yes, the four creaks! And yes, the, war <laughs> the roof leaks on rainy days! It's honestly horrifying, horrifying how shabby the place is! But this storm is the only place I can be myself, casting aside wealth and status to make real memories. <clears throat> These people have given me a place where I can be me. There's a girl, Ichika, a sweet girl, who cooks delicious food for us. There's her, who's weirdly afraid of me, but still tries to talk to me. Arrogant Mao may be sassy, but they're still my precious friends. Kaoru has an immature side, yes, but... You never met a more interesting person. And him. He was a pariah among us at first, but he was persistent and optimistic. And now he's the life of the party. That side of him has given me so much courage. Kaname. This is the first time she's ever been so clear with her feelings. I thought she was so distant that I would never understand the kinds of things that goes through her mind. But... 
seems worried, just like the rest of us, and tries to be positive in her own way. That's what made her so desperate to remake herself here at the Sunshine Dorm. Don't try to mother me when you've never once cared about me. I'm sick and tired of it. Don't you dare to try to steal my life away from me. Ah, Kaname! Kaname looks at her mother in the eye and says exactly what she wants to before running away in the opposite direction of the dorm. Wait! Just as I'm turning to run after her, her mother stops me. Please tell me. What, what is Kaname like to you? What she's like? I really don't know anything about the kind of life she lives, not even at school. But you've seen plenty. You've seen her plenty. Even if I miss my Kaname, right? Hmm. Tell me the real truth. So I plead the eyes of Kaname's mother. Well, I haven't known her for long. But in these past few weeks of living together, I've learned a lot about Kaname. The Kaname I know. <laughs> She's a vi very clever person. Always well aware of what's I what I'm going to say next. Every day she surprises me more. Go on. She wins every argument and she can do anything. And it makes you want to search for some weakness, but you just know there's got to be something. Oh, also, she often doesn't really directly say what she means. It's kind of annoying sometimes. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not sure, really sure what I'm getting, <laughs> getting at anymore. It's okay, it's okay, please, just please, let's continue. Dude, I'm hungry. I can feel my stomach like, you need food. You haven't ate all day. All you ate was a concha, and that's it. That's all I had was sweet bread, man. Hmm. And it's already 1 a.m. I gotta get food after this. But she's so awkward at the strangest of times. It's kind of funny how she'll just fight and fight to avoid saying she, <laughs> saying she wants something. It's funny, but I think it makes me a little happy seeing her do that. Oh, damn it all. I didn't realize that I was this in love with her. At some point, my mind just turned turned all of attention on her. In a word, she's lovable. I see. I believe this woman loves Kaname too, but she's also the same as her daughter. She's very awkward about such things. Maybe the two of them just have trouble seeing eye to eye. Take a look at this. We're taking silly pictures a while back. I still heard the cute pics of Kaname. The w <laughs> no! <laughs> The one with her finger in her mouth as she looks up the camera. Ah, what in the world? Lovable as hell, right? What do you think you are? Sorry, I got a little carried away. Hmm. She used to, <laughs> she used to always smile like this. Whenever something happened in kindergarten or she saw a puppy in town, she'd be so excited to tell me about it during dinner. But then, then... Hmm. How am I supposed to approach my little girl now? And there it is. She really is as like Kaname. I think Kaname feels the same way. What? I bet she loves you, but she just doesn't know how to interact with you. But she wasn't so angry before. That was just her getting a little emotional. She's human too. Hmm. Sometimes Kaname tells me about fun little memories of playing with you. Huh? With me? Yes. I feel like there's a lot of things she wants to apologize for, but she misses the timing to do it. So they're just there festering. In my opinion, she's just having trouble expressing her feelings. Same with you, probably. Ah! Now, I've been held up for a good while now, so I should really go find Kaname. I'm gonna go now. I have a feeling that Kaname is going to be in the same place as last time. At the movies? Excuse me. Yes? Um, thank you. It warms her heart knowing she has, a fr she has you for a friend. Uh, <laughs> it's my pleasure. If things go the way I hope, we'll be, we'll be a lot more than that. I run straight there. Careful not to step in any puddles. Is she really at the movies? Once I'm off the cable car, I start running off for the familiar roof. Ah! There we are. I knew you were there. 
here? The rain's gotten even harder than before. How did he know that? <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I just knew you'd come here. <laughs> You're the kind of person who, once he sets her heart on seeing a movie, will show up to the theater coming, come hell or high water. Besides, when I saw the rain coming down, all I could think was of that last time. I've been sheltering here from the rain ever since that day. Hmm? Um, how did it go? You mean with your mom? <sighs> She's trying to act calm, but I can see the worry in her eye. She said she wants to go out for lunch with you sometimes. It's been so long, right? Excuse me? You're kidding, right? That can't possibly be worse than was leading. Jeez, I don't know. If you think I'm joking, maybe you should give her a call. I know I should have stayed. What in the world is going on? When two people love each other, but can't get along sometimes, they just need a little puss. Give them some help, and they'll figure out the rest. So, here I am. Having chased you through the rain. Where my my emotional teary-eyed... <laughs> where's my emotional teary-eyed hug scene? Are you stupid? Do you want me to hug you? I mean, yeah, kind of. Figures. What? After all, my relationship with Kaname wouldn't have, <laughs> wouldn't be what it is now without the that first little nudge of from Mother Lo Nature. They just need one phone call. Heck, even having a full face-to-face -face argument might not be a bad idea. Well, since we're here, let's go see that movie. Mm, yes, I like that. Um, a chance meeting in the rain. A spontaneous invitation to a movie. That's all it takes to change the course of two people's lives. Aww. Ah, rains! <gasps> huh? Here, I thought we'll, <laughs> we'll, we were making steady progress, but the economy ends up choosing an horror movie. Isn't she the one who was making fun of them before? She's so scared now that she's squeezing the life out of me, out of my hand. Wait. Oh, just, uh, that's my soda. Uh, I'm sorry. It, it's my pleasure. Uh. Uh. She normally so compassionate, but lately, she's been attacking me to cover up her embarrassment. <laughs> And every time she pats me where wherever she hits me, as if it would make it better. This woman, I swear. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell her my feelings. I don't ever want another man to hold her hand like, like I am now. I want to say her name without adding an honorific. Uh -huh. Thanks for always being there for me. Huh? <laughs> With a grin, I engrave her words of gratitude deep in my heart. Aww, that's so, so adorable. And that's it, right? Or is there some more? Dude, seriously, I am hungry. I am so hungry right now. Like, badly. I haven't ate nothing all day. Instead of a concha. Okay, it's a brand new day. I'm ending it there. I am ending it there. This is where it ends. I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, if you like today's video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to see whenever I post, and leave a comment. Alright, I'm gonna go. Gonna go get some food. Oh wait, no. I need to do the stupid, uh, my outro. Like, technically, it's like my outro now. <clears throat> well, this is Gap saying farewell. And as always, <laughs> bye bye.